All right, gang, welcome back to the channel. So I want to do a really quick video. I was down in the basement LARPing around. I'm literally in full kit. I have a plate carrier on right now. Uh, I heard a knock at the door. It's Saturday, and it was a shipment from AliExpress. This is a Trujicon MRO Red Dot. I have not put the battery in. This is a Trujicon clone from AliExpress. Now, I've been doing a bunch of videos on AliExpress buys. So let's see if this clone holds up to some of the other clones that we've received, or if it's a complete waste of money. Uh, let's dive into it really quick. First thing we're going to do is thank our sponsor, Jackal Tactical. Thank you so much, Jackal, for sponsoring the channel. They have two convenient locations, one in Conestoga, the other in Lebanon. Stop by, check them out, and if you are there, tell them PewDieRie sent you and ask for Skittles. If you ask for Skittles, they will know that you watch my channel and that I told you to say that. So, all right, cool. So let's throw some batteries in here, or let's throw the battery right here in. I will put a link in the description where I got this if it is worth buying. Everything looks half decent. This riser, I've got another riser coming for it, a two and something inch riser. So one of them high rise speedy boy mounts for it if it's good. That's sticking down really low. I don't even, I don't even know if that'll pass the, the rifle. That's dumb. That is a goofy design. All right, enough of that. So send that riser. They send... One hex key. Uh, looks like one battery came with it. Anything else hiding in here, guys? Ooh. Actually, an owner's manual. Eight settings in total, two night vision, five day settings, and one super bright. That is cool. 70 MOA total travel. This actually seems like a legit, <laughs> a legit red dot for the money. I mean, I, I will... I, I mean, this is going on an airsoft gun, so don't don't get it twisted. This isn't going on anything other. Let's get this cleaned up and throw a battery in it. All right, so the instructions is saying positive end up towards the cap, so we're going to slap it in there. That stays in place nicely. Cap. Looks like it's sealed up, so it's waterproof. It also looks like it's shock resistant, some somewhat shock resistant. All right, so it's a solid clone. I've got the battery in there. The dot is a little sloppy. It's not an actual, like, get a anything from Hollow Sun, anything from SIG, like the Romeo 5, and you've got a nice dot in there. I'm going to turn this on. You probably will not be able to see it, but it is not a great dot. Um, it's extremely bright, though. You're not going to have a problem seeing it during the day, really bright day. So to the naked eye, it's, it's really sloppy looking. Like, there's, um, it's not a perfect dot. However, in there, it does look half decent. So, I mean, it's it's a clone. It's not expensive at all. So in total, I spent, pro tip, this is a uh, three millimeter T handle. So I spent $40 total. It's like 33 for the red dot then shipping. And it got here in about a week. I'm just going to mount her up right here. Um, you get what you pay for from AliExpress. It's not garbage, but it's not... The, the build quality is half decent. I, I'll say that. For the money, I'm happy with the build quality. However, for the dot inside, it's not the greatest. It will work, however, for Airsoft. If this thing gets absolutely obliterated, it's a great clone on this rifle. I've got the Surefire uh, M600 up here, which looks great. I did a video on that. You can check that one out. And then this uh, Trujicon clone. It just, it looks really cool. It makes the, the guns look neat. 